Welcome. All right, so we are what I have is log base 4 of negative x plus log base 4 of x plus 10 equals 2. And so what we're going to do here is, again, apply our properties of logarithms to state when we have the, uh, the addition of two single logarithms, we can combine them into one single logarithm. So therefore, this would be log base 4 of negative x times x plus 10 equals 2. Now I can apply distributive property. So I have log base 4 of negative 1 times x times x, x is going to be a negative x squared minus 10x equals 2. Be careful, that's x times x we know is x squared, and then that is also being multiplied by negative 1. So it's negative x squared. Then the next thing is now I can convert this to exponential form. So it's 4 squared equals a negative x squared minus 10x. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to solve this, you can see I have an x squared and an x. Well, I'm not just going to be able to easily solve this. So what I'm going to have to do is apply my factoring techniques. So therefore, I have 16 equals a negative x squared minus 10x. So I can subtract 16 on both sides. Therefore, I have 0 equals a negative x squared minus 10x minus 16. When factoring this, I'd probably like to factor out the negative 1. So I'm left with x squared plus 10x plus 16. Now what I need to do is determine what two values multiply to give me 16, but then add to give me 10. I'll divide out the negative 1, so I'm not going to worry about that. So 0 equals x plus 8 times x plus 2. Therefore, x equals negative 8 and x equals negative 2. Now again, logarithms generally don't contain negative numbers. So what we have to do is make sure we can plug these back in to our, function, to our equation to make sure they work. And what's nice about this is I have negative x. So anytime I put in a negative number, that's going to make that a positive. So therefore, I'm evaluating for the positive value of the logarithm. And then over here, if I put in a negative 8, I'll have a positive 2. And a negative 2, I'll have a positive 8. So therefore, I can evaluate both of my solutions. So I do not have an extraneous solution in this case. Just because they're negative doesn't make them extraneous. But since I can plug them both to my equation and they work, they are both solutions. Thanks.